Hey guys, it's Joshua Peterson, Peterson Electric. We're finishing up tonight outside here um, on this. I want to show you why we had an issue with this radon fan that was popping the circuit. Uh, first of all, radon fans, they probably draw maybe about one amp, maybe even a quarter amp on some of them. Um, technically, you could tap them anywhere on the circuit and usually not have an issue. But the code does state that most any kind of dedicated pieces of equipment, especially it's a life safety for radon um, that should have its own circuit but these guys didn't they just came off of the outlet up there and piped it down about 20 foot I want to show you why this failed though so as you can see this has a set screw fitting these are not rated for outdoor they're NEMA 1 indoor the guy drilled the box there in the back and he never plugged the KO so as water wicked itself down it filled up here and as I pulled the flex out, it drained out of the flex because there was a U there, so it was sitting in there. And then, I don't really think, personally, these covers are R3 rated well. I, I wouldn't use these for switches and disconnects, in my opinion. Um, I think it rusted because the water sat there, but needless to say, I still wouldn't trust it because I had water up and down the whole thing inside. So, I use just another bell box. I like the deeper ones rather than the shallow. They're a half inch knockout with three holes. They have the wings on the outside to screw in, so therefore you don't um, hurt the inside of the integrity hey guys, of that wet Peterson, area, Peterson which is Electric considered R3. So as soon as you drill the inside, here, it's not considered um, R3 this, anymore. These fittings are the newer yeah, ones to code. They have a fans, blue or a black collar. Circuit. Inside they have first a green radon gasket fans, they probably and a rubber gasket right there. One amp. So you're not going to have that issue, even from the um, old galvanized compression connectors. Them that's a, a newer really style steel connector. But the code um, state that most now that these have to now be heavy duty rated for these levels. I like the these because I can um, actually put in that should have my switch, switch. Circuit, these guys didn't, they just and then I can put in my cover plate. Down about 20 foot. And then this is an in-use cover. Show you why this failed, though. And then once I put this in, I can shut it. As you it. can see, and it's really good for outlets because fitting. these sides can come out here. And then these put are not in. rated for outdoor, but needless to say, this is indoor. still a good way to do a switch. Guy drilled the box there and not had issues because these guys never plugged the KO. Really well made around these. So as water wicked itself it, down and filled up here, throw away the gasket. And as I pulled the flex you know, out, it now drained out of the flex because there was a U there, so it was sitting in there. So, and then um, again, I don't really think how I'm going to cover about fixing this R3 rated well. I wouldn't use these for switches and disconnects, in my opinion. Um, well, the I think it's rusty because the water sat part, there, but eight, nine, needless to bucks, say, and then these are I still wouldn't eight, trust nine, it because I had water up and down the whole them. thing inside. And, um, so, but, so you know, the I use about just another bell box. I like the deeper ones by far rather than the shallow. They're a half inch knockout with three holes. They have the wings on the outside to screw in, so therefore you don't hurt the inside of the integrity of that wet area, which is considered SAR 3. So as soon as you drill the inside, it's not considered R3 anymore. These fittings are the newer ones to code. They have a blue or a black collar. Inside they have a green gasket and a rubber gasket right there. So you're not going to have that issue even from the old galvanized compression connectors. That's a, a newer to style steel connector. Um, now these have to now be heavy duty rated for these hubbles. I like these because I can actually put in my switch and then I can put in my cover plate and then this is an in-use cover. And then once I put this in, I can shut it. And it's really good for outlets because these sides can come out here and then put a cord in. But needless to say, this is still a good way to do a switch and cover it. I have not had issues because these gaskets are fairly well made around these and they're already designed on it. Some people just throw away the gasket, you know. But now we can actually put this on without that issue. So um, again, that's kind of how I'm going to go to about fixing this tonight, so I don't have a recall on this um, and just charge them for these parts. But, um, you know, the parts are fairly little expensive. I think these are about 8 9 10 bucks, and then these are about anywhere from 8 9 10 dollars as well, depending on where you get them. And um, so, but, you know, the investment of about 25 bucks on this material, by far, is something that's going to be um, well put out so they don't have any more service calls. Thanks for joining us, guys.